If you are on a budget and you need an SUV that looks the part, is well built and good to drive, then look no further than the Suzuki Grand Vitara. It has handsome, rugged good looks, assertive lines and aggressive 18-inch alloys. Inside, it feels well made and solid. I must say it is a surprise to find these Jaguar surrounds, but I actually quite like them. The stereo is easy to use, and here there's a power point for both passenger and driver so they can charge their phones at the same time. Safety wise, as standard, it has a stability control, six airbags, and a tire pressure monitoring system. Now, the good thing about the back of this car is that if you're a child sitting in the back, the transmission tunnel is relatively small, so you've got somewhere to put your feet. Sliding over though, in-car picnics will be very easy to achieve in this SUV. Handy rear cup holders, comfortable outer edge seats, the headrests, they're adjustable, the seats even recline, which also comes in handy for boot usage. As you can see, the boot door handle is ergonomically designed. It's a very large door that opens really, really wide and the load threshold is relatively small, so it's easy to get stuff in and out. Also in the back, the parcel shelf is a bit more solid than those pull across types. And there's a handy storage compartment here so you can put all your bits and pieces and they won't be on show. Unlike a lot of SUVs this size on the market today, this one is actually very competent off-road and that's thanks to its low range four-wheel drive gearing and also differential lock. The ride is fairly firm but this gives it stability and rigidity on the road. It actually handles pretty well. You do have a choice of engines. If it's petrol that you're after you can go for a 1.6 or a 2.4 but by far the best choice is the 1.9 turbo diesel. And the reason for that is because you get good levels of power whilst returning 41.5 MPG. So you're not actually gonna to have to visit the service station too often. Unfortunately, like all things, there are negatives. The gearbox on this is heavy and clunky and also the petrol engines, well, to be honest, they're a waste of time. The 1.6 doesn't have very much power and the 2.4 burns a lot of fuel. However, if it's an automatic that you need, unfortunately you do have to go for this juicy 2.4 litre petrol engine. Let's hope that fuel consumption isn't a concern for those that need an auto. All that aside, this SUV is practical, it does the job on and off-road and with the equipment that you get as standard, it makes the purchase price very attractive indeed.